It's the Year of Shame Challenge. Hello and welcome to the latest edition of the Year of Shame podcast. I am Richard Forder, yes, and with me are Toby, hello. say hello, and Steve, hello, and do my little wave, yes, can't yeah. see it. do my little good. wave on the catwalk, it's a good radio, yeah. Yeah, it is. we are here to talk all things Year of Shame, and come in your ears, <laughs> completely separate things, yes, they yeah. are mutually exclusive, so how's it going chaps? Yeah, good. I've got beer. It's fine. Yeah, and that's and that's now as it always is. It'll degenerate yeah. as we go further on into a fucking shambles. Yes. I mean, we should we should let people know that we this is our first late night recording. Yeah, so we should be uh, turning down and doing the husky voices. Yeah. Hi, hi. Welcome to welcome to tonight's edition of the Year of Shame. So, how is it going, everyone? How are we all feeling? I think, I've checked this now, because Steve likes his stat, we're 117 days in. Really? 32% of the year gone. 32. A third of, a third of the way through the yeah. bloody year. I made sure I looked that up, because I thought you'd like a stat or two. Yeah. Oh, I've got loads of stats for you later. Oh, he's yeah. got a stat all oh. over your face. Do you remember stat? Yeah, stat- do you remember Stato from footy? Who doesn't oh. remember Stato? Yeah, I, I, Steve, I, I, Steve I is. I never watched from Fantasy Stato. Football League. Yeah. Fantasy yeah, football really league fantasy. It. Fantasy anyway. football league fantasy. Go on then. No, tell us how you it. tell us how you're doing, uh Toby. You can go first. Yeah, good mate. I um <clears throat> I'm doing good. Uh getting a little bit of gaming time in here and there. Um drinking a lot of beer for the old beer blog, which is going well. Um <clears throat> uh yeah, new job, living those dreams, kids got chicken pox, not so great. Um and yeah, not really, not had my head turned or anything still this month, which is nice. Um, so yeah, doing all right. No wobbles. <clears throat> not even a collie wobble. Not even a collie wobble. Fantastic stuff. Steve, same for you or? Pretty pretty good, actually, yeah. Um, what is it? I'm actually getting a bit, <laughs> quite a bit of gaming in, so... Um, and a lot of variety as well. I think at this point in 2017, I wasn't getting wobbles, but it definitely felt like it was starting to trudge on. This year, it's just like, yeah, whatever. It's a breeze so far. I think you had, to be honest. You had some more stellar releases by this time in 2017. Mm. Yeah, I, th- I think <clears throat> the two things... I know we've had a fair few good releases over the, the first few months. You know, everyone seems to be jumping on the division at the moment. Yeah, no, you're all right. Yeah. They, can, they can keep that. Res- Resident Evil 2, that, that looks pretty good. But single player, it can wait. But I think what I'm more relieved about was the news coming out about the PS5. Mm. Yeah. That's looking like 2020. Yeah. So I don't need to worry about that. And then this week, there was a lot of news coming out about Persona 5 The Royal. 2020 as well. So it's just like, yeah. Fucking superb. I'm just... Apart from Borderlands 3, I think there's not much else in the next year or so that I'm that bothered about. Yeah. So yeah, crack on. It's going well. What about you, Richard? Well, mine, I've... Well, even just the last couple of days, been quite glad I didn't decide to uh, get days gone. It's had a lukewarm reception, I think. I've not, it's... not heard anybody really talking about it. It's only the last <laughs> day or so. It's not going to... Uh... It's not going to break any sales records, I don't think. It's it's a twenty pound game wrapped up in a brand new price tag. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new in it. It's just looks quite flashy, and you've got a slightly different protagonist to the ones. But it's the same old bloke, de- uh, bloke and or woman decides to uh, go it alone in a zombie infested world, and you have to do the survival bit. Yeah, it's got a gimmick of his motorcycle, but I mean. If you want to say they already did that in uh, what was the Frank thingy, uh, Dead Rising. I don't know if you. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, you, I don't know if you can attach chainsaws to the handles, but maybe. Uh, but I, I just I was all up for that because that's the sort of game that I like. But it uh, didn't didn't do as well or was not as well received as I was hoping. I d- I've seen a couple of people t- starting to talk about it on the forums, but. For, for such a big game that 
people were excited about, say four or five months ago, there's very few people jumped on day one. Mm. It's, it's, it's almost as if a lot of people are just waiting for the price drop. Yeah. And that's it. I it's think like, a lot of people are wary about these open world games um, needing a bit of patching before they work as well. Yeah. I think yeah. it's more difficult to play test something that has got such a big scope, so there's bound mm-hmm. to be Bethesda esque busk, busks. Bugs. <laughs> you got yeah. It's got a busk in it. Some blokes out the side of the road asking for money. Like, um, yeah. Zombie just <laughs> zombie zombie busker. Guitar, <clears throat> just hitting it. I, Ugh, bong, I think it's uh, oh, rare. I think it's more difficult. And no, oh, no, his fez has fallen off. <laughs> as a consequence, Rich, how um, are you going to save fez now? Hey. <laughs> Toby Jones. My jokes are dad style. Here all week. It's, it's Toby James, but okay. James, James, sorry, I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm drunk on one beer. No, I was earlier on. <laughs> oh. But I, I think it'll take a few patches before it's. Uh... Before you're completely drunk. Yeah, I got alcohol patches. I'm recovering. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing was, oh, well, I, I was very pleased to uh, get the Borderlands Three news. <laughs> what was about it being 23rd of September? 13th, 13th. 13th of September. Yes, uh, we, we, uh, we may need to talk about that later on, or in in the September show. Well, that's, Possibly. that's I think I could safely say that's pretty much going to be the joker for this year, unless something ultra stellar comes out between now and then. Because I love me some Borderlands. It's good. You need to play Borderlands. You need to get on this train, Toby. Well, Come on. I, I, there's two things that are definitely going to happen, um, which we'll go over in progress, actually. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Shall we move to progress now, then, so you can... Uh, oh, now the, you're asking. Now, now you can carry on. You can just... We can segue nicely into we your story about Borderlands. See so, you nicely. how is your pile of progress going, Toby? I finally class five the game. Yay! It wasn't a big game. <laughs> and what was that game? <laughs> Counter Spy. Oh, that's good. That. Oh, that's, that's quite good. That game. Quite like yeah, it, it was that. enjoyable. Um, I had fun with it. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, it was nice to just get something completed. Um, what about what about Bro Force? I haven't finished it. All oh, right. Okay. I haven't finished it. Um, I was. Sorry. I was feeling a bit laboured. So I tried something else, and then finished that, and then I tried something else. Um, so I'm currently playing through Heavy Rain, um, which I had completed before on the PS3, but yeah. it's it was brand new on the PS4, so um, I'm going through that. Um, it's quite nice, there's a lot of things I'd forgotten about the story, um, which have made it more interesting. And I've certainly failed at a lot of things that I passed the first time I played it. Which is deliberately no, no, not deliberately. Just... just not really paying attention and going, oh fuck. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, it's going to be a different ending to what I had before, definitely. Um, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's fun uh, and it's good to just do it in little snippets, like do one character's bit, turn it off, do it again later, turn it off. Um, I am finding it a bit laborious, to tell you the truth. Um, as exciting as it is to refine bits of the story that I'd forgotten about, at certain points I'm just like, I can't do any more of this. I can't. I just have to turn it off. Is that because you know what's coming up, or is that? No, it's because I'm just like, oh fuck, this is just getting long again. Um, uh, so um, I will probably push through it to get it out of the way, and then I'm going to go back to Spider Man. Because I haven't finished it and I got all the DLC at Christmas just before we started the challenge. So I've got a lot to do on there. Um, and I really enjoy it. So I'm going to go back to that. After that's happened, then I will give a Borderlands a crack. Um, Good. But I've got them all on Xbox, so none of you will see it. That's uh, okay. It's okay. Just getting the Borderlands vibe. Mm. It's such a good game. Yes, yeah. it's great. So good. I didn't really <laughs> to look so dubious. <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's the it's best. Fun. You've not. I tell you what. You've not played it properly until you've played in a, 
a co-op game with Steve arsing about as Claptrap, <laughs> doing everything he fucking wants that nobody else wants him to do. <laughs> oh, Claptrap's the best. My, my, I'm so glad I chose My him. lord, that's... that's it. <laughs> it, it's, but it's both challenging and fun at the same time. <laughs> it's gone. Oh. Right, where were we? Right. Uh, St- Steve, yeah, you do your uh, pile progress now. All right. You've hinted at something um, that might have been going on. Yes, well, we'll, we'll I, might, I might as well start with that. We've been doing um, Borderlands pre-sequel co-op, haven't it's we? Been Every, it's been It's great fun. I have really enjoyed it. I've never played pre-sequel before, and I'm really enjoying it. And Claptrap is just fucking amazing. <laughs> Toby's He's deliberately just... been a knob over your pre-sequel chat. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to open. Full bag of t- trying to open Terry's, Terry's chocolate, chocolate orange. Chocolate. It's not Terry. <sighs> it's mine. No. But it won't let me in. So, if, if anyone's interested, we are streaming the every Wednesday night mm. our uh, pre-sequel stuff. There's three episodes up on my YouTube. There's probably three on... There's my, three on mine. There's Rich, probably three on Richards. Stu Whitehouse's as well, as he's yep. one of the other uh, cohort. And uh, Vicky, so Vicky get, as well. You get to see Claptrap in all his glory. He's great. And the cursing of three other players as he does what the fuck <laughs> he wants. <laughs> right, so yeah. So that was one game. Uh, I'll start the rest. Right, here goes the list. Um, I have Class Flight Bastion. Played through that um, for the first time. I have it's okay. Got no compulsion to go back and do anything more on that. I've done it once, sod it. Um, I have Class Five Persona Five. After <laughs> putting an extra, up, I think my second playthrough was hundred hours in total for. The second playthrough, and I realised at hour 80 that I'd fucked up one of the trophies, <laughs> and so I didn't get the platinum. So you're going so back for a third I was playthrough? A bit... I will do next year, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> I will do next year. Um, I have classified um, Muramasa Rebirth on the Vita, which is like this... Um... Oh, it's an old Wii game that they redid on the, the Vita and it's it's kind of like a side-scrolling action RPG thing um, so I played through both of the characters campaigns completed that so yeah so I, I ditched Rurabasa Rebirth because the grind was just shit um, class 5 Disney Infinity that's gone got rid of Broforce Tried playing as much of that as I could and got to the last level on it. And just... that's pretty much what's happened with me. I'm like, oh, this is just, getting tedious. There's just loads of devils about, and we should just do it together. I think with two people it'll be easier. It's fucking me off. My son does enjoy Broforce though. Ah! My five year, <laughs> my five year old walked in on me while I was playing it, and he just started pissing himself with laughter and all I could hear him saying was daddy that bad guy's gone squish and he was just yeah. <laughs> that's what I shout a lot. he was loving it um what else I've classified Rezo Gun Rezo Gun on the Vita so completed all the base three ships on that hold on uh doing Borderlands I have I started Freedom Wars Vita Freedom Wars on the Vita um, which, if you've not played it, it's this third-person shooter thing. You, you, you're basically you're this convict, and you have to go on missions to reduce your sentence. And it probably sounds like, yeah, that's easy, but when your sentence starts out at a million years, and each mission kind of knocks 20 years off your sentence. That's quite a long game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's going to take a while um, to get out. And the controls aren't that good on the Vita, so I thought, right... I'll park that for now. I'll wait until I've got the PS TV set up and I'll start playing with a decent controller on that. So that's gone. I have done... Uh, everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Hmm. That It's my first ever walking simulator, that. And I really enjoyed it up until the very last bit. It was an intrigue. It was quite an intriguing story. Yeah. The explanation of what's going on at the end just left me thinking what the fuck and it wasn't like a what the fuck it was just like 
what the hell? Why, why have you made me do all this for this payoff? How much was the, yeah. how much what time I... went into that? Um, less than ten hours. So I, uh, I think at least, at, I least think it's, I did... at least it's not a mass of game. No, I think I think it was about seven hours I put in. I've done the first uh, bit, like up to where you go into the electrical generator place. Like right at the very beginning, you have to get the power back on to the yes. game. Um, yeah, that's literally all I've done. Um, but I think what I find hilarious about that is it's set in rural Shropshire, and it was made <laughs> by a Japanese team who went to Shropshire and took photos of all the roads and all the buildings, <laughs> and then went home and made the game. It's it's a lo- it's a lovely game, but. There are just things about it. It reminded me of something, and I can't remember what it is. Um, Shropshire. <laughs> no. Have do have either of you two ever watched um, what's the name Neo Genesis Evangelion? No, because no. I, I wouldn't remember it's ja- that. <laughs> it's 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 it's, it's, it's um, an anime thing. I don't want yeah, to right. It's 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 a bit nihilistic towards the end, and that's what this everybody's gone to the rapture feels like. But anyway, okay. I have also classified and platinumed um, Oddworld: Strangers Wrath. Ooh. Oh, Oddworld's good. Those games are good. Well, the thing is, I own four copies of this game, <laughs> and I have never once got past the first first town on it because it's like. Oh, I really like the look of this game, and I, I get past the tutorial, and that's it. Yeah. So I thought, fuck it, because I own it on the original Xbox, PS3, Vita, and is it PS4. I sure, it why was... not? <laughs> so I thought, fuck it, I'll do it, um, and I actually I've, I've platinumed it, and then I realised that the PS3 and the PS Vita trophies are two separate lists. <laughs> So I'm thinking I might go back and do it all again on PS3. I get another platinum. Anyway, um, also done Walking Dead Season 2. That's all complete. It was okay. Not as good as the first series, but okay. Uh, as Toby alluded to, Class 5 and Platinum to Game of Thrones and Telltale game. What ending did you get? Um, the standard Game of Thrones ending. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't like the game. I love Game of Thrones, but I really didn't like Really? I loved it. This, because it felt too much like, let's take Game of Thrones put it in the walking dead. and we'll just <laughs> copy it. It was like, why they couldn't, why didn't they do it from a different angle? Why did it have to be a northern family and then everything that happened to them was almost identical to what happened to the Starks yeah. in Game mm. of Thrones? Yeah. That was what bugged me. And well, I think if they've done some... I think it was the the being able to beat the Starks without being the Starks, you know. That yeah, was the point. I just didn't like. I didn't like it. I wanted to see it, see it from a different viewpoint. Yeah. Um. So the ending I got. Let me think. I think you. I think you can only get one ending. To be fair. Oh, I don't know. It's just. I think the only thing you can change is which brother. Mine. Mine was the. The younger brother yeah. that came across from Esos. Yeah, and I think the only yeah. other thing you can change is whether the girl lives or dies. Which girl? The girl in the family. His sis- yeah, I'm trying not to spoil it too much for people. His sister. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> it didn't say. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't get killed. Well then. But then, it didn't. Yeah. His, his his mother did, in my version. Oh my! In mine, the mother didn't. Oh no no. No, it's the it's his younger brother. Yeah, the little boy. The little boy gets taken off by his and uh, the white, no. the big other big fat northern family. Not not in my one. Oh, okay. He did initially at the very end of it. He gets run off by he, he gets taken off by the bird that comes over from Esos with the brother. Oh, the warrior chick. Interesting. So it goes up. This that's why. I was, I was annoyed because it's just like how um, Bram and Rickon. Yeah, yeah, that goes up. It it almost mirrored the entire first two or three series, and I was a bit pissed off. And the thing was, because I knew there wasn't a 
there's not a season two yeah. because Telltale Games have gone bust. It's just uh, it's coming into the last chapter. I thought, why the fuck am I even caring about this yeah. now? Yeah. So I just I just fired through it and I did all the, I tried to do all the shitty decisions. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. Um, I was a bit disappointed so because I played it at release like all the way through, and so I was really waiting for that second season that never came. Anyway, I've still got more to do. Mm. Uh, crack Jesus. on. Crack on. We'll, we'll have a kip, shall crack we, on. Rich? Yeah. Yeah. Steve, you, ca- have... you carry on. Wake us up when you're done. <laughs> Class 5 and Platinum, Broken Age, which is a um, a double fine point and click on PS4 and Vita. That was my review audition for reviewing games for Midlife Gamer. I did a review of Broken I... Age. It's, I love it. Yeah. It was so, so good. Well done. The, the it was really well done. Proper proper Tim Schafer humour. I went through my first playthrough and then I had one trophy left and it's completed under an hour and I thought, fuck it, I'm doing this. <laughs> hey. so it was just like, skip, 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 yeah, do this, skip, skip. Well, yeah, really, yeah, once you know all the puzzles, it's uh, it would be easier with the skipping to do in an hour. Yeah. Um, and it's, it, because I played that, it's made me put full throttle on the list of games I want to get in January next it's year. It's on my pile. I do love... Oh, I... I wish I'd bought it because I loved the Tentacle as well. well I, I got a review copy, so I got it for free. Oh, lucky fuck! Um, <laughs> I, I still haven't finished it, but I, I played it enough to to review it, and it, you know, it's just as good as it was before, but with some great graphics. What I love with those, the same as with Monkey Island, is when you can switch between that and the old graphics. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's my favourite, just to see what it was that you were looking at compared to what you're looking at now. Um. I've got three more games left. Jesus Christ. <laughs> do, you, do you really have um, a wife and kids, or is it all just pretend? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, I have Class 5 uh, Far Cry 5. It's a good change of pace. It was a nice shooter, and there's some good things going on in it. It uses your standard Far Cry cookie-cutter design kind of thing. And I was enjoying it up until the part where... If any of you, if, if either of you two played no. it, no. <laughs> or rather, I've started playing it, but I'm still right near the beginning because I spend so much time trying to find the perfect cover that I'm crawling all around an outpost for like 20 minutes. Yes. Um, I was using right. the recurve bow a lot at the beginning, which also takes okay. a lot of time. Um, but yeah, right. So you you know about the. Um resistance points yeah. that you collect to do. No. Right? Well, you won't. Right. Basically, as you're playing through the game, you get, you, get, you, you get these resistance points, which is how you're affecting each area's kind of boss. So it, it's basically the more damage you do, the or the more resistance points you get by completing missions, destroying supplies, It's essentially all these kind like of what you did when you chose the Geth in Mass Effect 3. I will never forgive you for that. Yeah. There's a, sim- there's a similar... <laughs> thing in Far Cry 4 when you start to weaken them by yes. taking outposts. It's that it's that kind of thing. As you hit certain checkpoints, you get forced story breaks. Yeah. And I re- that really pissed me off because I was doing things and he's like, right, I'm setting up this next mission and he's go, no, you are now being hunted. And it's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Right, okay. I want to take out this group that are hunting me. And you're like, you're trying to find them. But all of a sudden, it's just like arrow to the knee. And it's like, what the hell is going on? And it just, it, it basically cuts you out of the game and puts you on this fourth story mission. And that really pissed me off. Um, but other than that, it's a great game. Quite enjoyed it. Um, so that's everything I've completed this month. <laughs> oh, hang on. <laughs> but I'm still playing. But I have just started two more games. Um on the Vita, I've started Oddworld, New and Tasty. I thought I'd give that a shot. And um, <laughs> I have just started Bloodborne. Um, oh, Jesus. I, sp- I never completed it. I probably put about 40 hours in the last time I played it, which was 2016. And I thought, right, fuck it. I can't remember anything. Is that the, the uh, old... I've forgotten what the fuck I'm doing. I'm going to start again moment. Exactly. Yeah, so I deleted my save and I've just started from the beginning. Um, so this month I have played 16 games. I have cleared off and completed eight. I've got three platinums 
and I am now sitting at 46.2% completion on my list. Oh, Done. That's, that, that's professional year of shaming, that. Well, the thing is, I, I usually have two or three games on the go at the same time. I have a main system game which on my PS4, which I play in the evenings. Um, and then I will probably have two games going on my Vita. Then one will either be a Vita game or a digital game on the PS4 that I remote into. So I'm playing that on my lunch breaks. Or when I'm sat in the car waiting for Sandy to have his swimming lesson. <laughs> I'll just I'll stick an hour in then. So that's how I'm getting through so much. It's, and I'm not watching telly or anything. So oh, I'm watching a lot of telly. That's it. That's what I'm not doing. That so I'm not I'm doing that. <laughs> consciously getting through my list. I have none um, of that going on. And, and as a complete antidote to Steve's list, mine is fucking short. Well done, mate. Well done. So I haven't completed slash class five anything. Uh, no shame in that. I have played, although it's not on my list officially, played a lot of Borderlands pre-sequel. Because um, so, I'm just enjoying what, the fuck playing that. Is, is Claptrap really that annoying? <laughs> it's, more, it's more when we get the random triggering of a special ability. <laughs> I can't help that. It, it states in his ability that it's malware yeah. whenever I trigger it, and you do not know what the consequences of that is going to be. So whether it is the rubber duck ring or the dual weeding gunzerker, I cannot dictate that. It decides on its own. And so that, that's what that's its redeeming feature. That's what makes it bloody fun because you don't know what the, you're in the middle of a fight with. Fuck knows how many enemies. And then all of a sudden, you start bouncing around like you're on a trampoline for no apparent reason. And we don't even need to see the section that says, you've been whatever, you've been claptrapped, because we know exactly what's gone on. No one knows. And at, at that and point, there's nothing you can do, so no one cares. I have... Uh, I've um, slightly progressed. I say slightly because it's about 1% or 2% in the grand scheme of things. The Red Dead Redemption 2 story. Ooh. All right. So I'm. Um, well, I don't know whether I'd mentioned this or how far before, but I'm on chapter three, maybe. The camp. The, yep. Oh, I don't know how to do whether to do spoilers or not. Um. Although, well, let, let's see. Yeah, we're on. I'm on chapter three, and we're doing some stuff there. And Arthur is kind of interacting a bit more with Dutch now. I would. I would say. Mm. Is, is it six months after the game's released? Is it six months or only four months? No, it was no, it was back end back in the last year, wasn't it? For, well, I even say five months after. Spoilers are allowed. Right, not okay. for me. Not for me. Oh, oh, right, no, okay, because you're not played it. No, um, I am playing it, but all right, he right, might okay. not be. He might not be where I am, or he might be further than I am. How far uh, have you reached chapter three yet? Is that um, the? Fake New Orleans place. There are you you sent Dennis. Yes. Sent, uh, um yeah, you can go there, but I mean I've not actually Oh you've not got story there yet. Uh, I've got bits and pieces there, but they're more side quests. Oh I've got I've got story there. No, I haven't got actual story there. My stuff is still oh. based more around roads. Okay, uh I so I've done that. Right, okay. So it's not a spoiler for me. So it's not a spoiler for you. Right, yeah. okay. So I've... Uh, the camp's moved to... Re the camp has moved. Yeah. So we're in the new spot. Yeah. And um, the gang has just... ingratiated themselves slightly with the local... With, with the families. With, with the Romeo with, and Juliet families. Yeah, so you've got the Braithwaite's and the Greys. And uh, we, they, we are now friends with the police. Stroke law enforcement. <laughs> who think we're... Who think we're great because we've helped them catch some nasty shit. Yeah. That they don't realise that we're playing them off against each and other. Getting them on one side. One... Are you playing them off against one another? Yeah. Well, yeah. You, you, they, they start they they start dabbling in a little bit of uh, politics and and what have you. But so the, the upshot is you have to stay on the good side of the law to some extent, and it bans no, you no from guns. using guns yeah. in certain areas because they don't want you to be seen as. Uh, Rabble rousers, unsavoury. 
I've been uh, hunting down the bounty hunts and nicking their special guns. Yeah. Getting all those things done. Um, aside from that, just a side quest there, so I'd say it's only a few percent further up. Um, I want to start something new, but just from a personal point of view, I've had quite a bit of shit at the start of this month, so my playtime has kind of been curtailed just a touch. Yeah. Well, you've started a new um, job as well, mate. Yeah, so... Um, been down in this here London. Oh, I, yeah. All that all that gaff. That office is great. It's got a fucking rooftop beer garden. Yeah, come come down to London. Don't contact the other guy with you of shame who lives in London. I understand. Yeah, well... <laughs> So, Richard, do we have any questions this month? Uh, no, because everyone's a dick. No, because everyone's a dick. Does happen. I thought I gave everyone at least a week's notice. We had, we had a good week's notice, but it appears that as the three of us sit here in our wonderful little world, we've answered every question. <laughs> the community they never email. Want. What other, they don't want, what other, an, they don't want what other answer could there be else. other than we've actually managed to answer every question in the world? Although, admittedly, I haven't checked the email. I'll I know. Just quickly check the email now. Oh, yeah. Notice. A bit no, of live jeopardy. Nothing. No. Oh, well. No. Damn. And there's def- nothing on Twitter. Fucking ungrateful swines our community are. Well, ah! I bet that dear Deirdre never has this problem. Get into right, his grinder so, account. right, so we're done with that bit then. Nothing on Twitter, nothing on email. So, That's any fine. other business from Actually, either good. of you two lovely gentlemen? I, I think we should ask if any anybody, please send us a message. Please. Question. <laughs> Questions, videos. Anything. Audio. Um, pigeon. Anything. Morse code. Anything. I think we'll have to get a guest on, won't we? We will. I'll work on that. Yeah. So you may have a guest next one. I, sorry, I'm not hosting. You're hosting next one, so... No, he means this one. I'm on it. I know, but he's hosting the next one. Yes, I'm doing well, the I... next one. Anyway, we need to... Oh, okay. For what it's worth, since people don't even want to pay attention, let's do some domestics. Yeah. Okay. So, we have an email address, should you feel the urge to send an email to us, at <laughs> yearofshame at gmail.com. And make sure you mention the year of shame in there. Although, I don't know why I'm sending it to year of shame at... No, you're supposed to mention Year of Shame 9, or whatever it is. 2019. Yeah, that's it. It's not 9, it's 7, isn't it? Yes. Ignore that. Anyway. (laughs) Ignore that. (laughs) It's the sixth official one. (laughs) Fucking hell, who's hosting? Shut your face. (laughs) Okay, yes sir. Thank you. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. (laughs) got an angry face on. Two not... fingers are angry. I can't, anyway, I can't tell uh, because the reflection what? from the screen's just going over his eyes suddenly and reflecting off his glasses. So it's just like he's... he's turning into a T-1000. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'll bring, a fu- I'll bring a fucking aggressive hat next time. <laughs> I would like to see what an aggressive hat looks like. <laughs> More aggressive than a fez. Is there such a thing? We'll see next time. We'll see! Next time on Year of Shame, the world's most aggressive hat. Um, we've got a Facebook page. We have. Which is the Year of Shame Challenge. If you're not on there and you're listening to this, why aren't you on the Facebook page? Get on it. Yes, and we have a, tw- we have a Twitter. We have, we have a Twitter account, which is the at Year of Shame. But use the hashtag Yoshi or YOS2019. When addressing said messages, you can get hold of me, should you wish to, at Burton Coggles, all one word. You can get hold of Steve at SteveOA76. Yeah. That's not, that's Steve, not Steve O, it's Steve, S-T-E-V-O. Stevo. Just to make sure. I mean, Stevo, I don't know really. what you just explained. It sounds like the same thing twice. Yeah. You can, you can fuck yourself. I can't. And uh, Toby James underscore for the man himself. Hello. Please send us a message. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so 
So that's so, it. If, if we're all done and dusted. So, it's a goodbye from me. It's a goodbye from him. And it's a goodbye from them. Yay! <laughs>